Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and to another fossil hunting video. Today you find me in Lyme Regis where I'm hoping to find some awesome fossils to show off to you guys. So I do hope you go on to enjoy this video and if you do please leave a like and remember to subscribe for more fossil hunting videos in the future. So let's go and find some fossils. <laughs> Lyme Regis is home to a world famous fossil beach, mainly for its richness in ammonite fossils, but it was also the birthplace of Mary Anning, a pioneer in paleontology and fossil collecting. And it wasn't long before I found the first signs of some ammonite fossils. The cliff formation here is similar to Charmouth's cliff structure, but here it seems the bottom of the cliffs had lots of slab-like layers of rock. This was the first part of an actual ammonite fossil I found. It's only a small piece, but I hoped it was a sign of things to come. This part of the beach is known as the Ammonite Pavement, and it's clear to see why. This huge stretch of beach is absolutely covered in Ammonite imprints and fossils. I was honestly shocked to see this many ammonite imprints in the rocks and boulders, and that's what I think makes this beach unique. Charmouth Beach, for example, is a lot more sandy and the cliffs are more clay-like, meaning there wouldn't be many imprints lying around on the beach. And this beautiful imprint here was the biggest one of the day, and probably my favourite. It was at this point where I started to find some actual fossils, and these in particular were huge parts of ammonite. With the right tools I could have gotten these out in pretty good condition, but unfortunately I didn't have anything on me to get them out. It was also interesting to see some sort of mineral exposed in this piece of rock. I'm unsure what it is, so if anyone knows, please do let me know in the comments below. So 
So that's the end to my short trip to Lyme Regis Beach. I really enjoyed walking around and seeing some of the amazing ammonite imprints, despite not finding many actual fossils. I do plan on returning to the Jurassic Coast sometime soon, so stay tuned for that. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.